Now, many footballers in the Gambia dream of making it to Europe, and some go to extreme measures to realise that ambition. One member of the national female team, Fatin Jawara, recently died while trying to reach Europe as a refugee. TRT World's Fidelis Mbar has been finding out why players aren't prepared to take such a risk in pursuing their goals. 19-year-old Fatim Jawara was the national goalkeeper. She drowned while trying to cross the Mediterranean on a smuggler's boat. Her death in December left the Gambia's football community in shock, and her family can't make sense of their loss. She never talks about it. As I always said, she never talks about it. And even when she was going, what she told us was, she's going for a game in Dakar. And that's the belief you have. When she says that, you know, we are okay when she says that, because she always goes out for game. So if she says it, and that's her life. Fatim represented the Gambia during the women's under-17 World Cup in Azerbaijan in 2012. She played for a top Gambian women's football club, the Scorpions. This football club has been training here, right on this pitch, for about nine years. And they don't even know when they are going to leave here or get a better pitch to train on. This is not peculiar to them. This is something that cuts across the Gambia. Football teams, the female ones, are poorly funded. They can't even afford the facilities. They can't afford, you know, even to pay players' wages. So for now, all they do is train here while hoping that some of them who might end contracts in Europe or maybe end contracts in other African countries will be able to make enough money to better their lives. It's very hard for us. We are just playing for the sake of loving the game. That's why we are playing. But to have something there, no. If we went to the national team, that's the time we gain something. If there is something there or not, I am playing the game because I love it. It is what I love. Okay, others are sacrificing other things just to play football. Though it's not giving out what they think it's going to give out, but I hope and think so one day everything will be okay. And this is something the country's football federation is struggling to deal with. We are not encouraging it, but we've seen also some of the uh, players also who have abandoned their clubs here, and they are lucky to go, I used the word lucky, to cross the Mediterranean, and then uh, they are able to, 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 to secure clubs uh, in, in Europe at different levels. So what is a, it's a national phenomenon, it's beyond the, the bandit of the football federation. Gambians paid just over $2,000 to embark on the dangerous journey across the Sahara Desert to the Mediterranean. They traveled hundreds of kilometers through Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso, and stopped over in Niger. The journey across the Sahara Desert begins in Niger, all the way to the Libyan coast, where they take to inflatable boats, hoping to reach Lampedusa or Sicily in Italy. While some players have made it to Europe and secured football contracts, others have not been so lucky. Abubakar Jata is among players whose career was cut short by the dangerous journey. It's just disappointing and I can't just see myself, I'm not there as a professional footballer. But those are my big dreams in life, becoming a professional footballer. Very disappointing. I did not reach Europe. I could not make it here. But until clubs are better funded and players properly remunerated, it may be difficult to discourage players from risking their lives for better opportunities in Europe.